starting with Azure boards here. So as I told you, right, Azure boards are mainly used for planning and requirement gathering. So if you have heard a term called as Jira earlier, so Jira is one of the software industry leading for planning and requirement gathering. Okay. So in the same way, Azure boards is one of the features where you can you do requirement and planning. So it helps you to create all these boards. It helps you to plan your release. It helps you to give your insight, like how much of the work is done and how much of the work is pending. Okay. And it also gives you, let's say you have an issue. It also can help you to, you know, link your deployment, link your code changes, link your, uh, whatever you are planning to do, your triaging issues, everything in the boards so that you have one at one click, you can list all of the things. So that's what is mostly Azure Boards is used for. Now Azure Repos. So Azure Repos is similar to Git. If you have seen Git or GitHub or GitLab or any kind of Bitbucket of these of things, it's similar to that, but it's in the same window of Azure DevOps. You don't have to go to a different application. Okay. So yeah. what's the main features of Azure Repos when, com when compared to other ones is like it can work with any of your client. And one of the best thing is it is always integratable with any of the publicly available or privately available Git SVN machines. Okay. So yeah. for example, let's say you have a project in your private GitLab or private GitHub repo. You can still connect to that repository using Azure repos and, you know, do your cloning and you can also integrate it with your hooks for pipelines. Let's say like. Jenkins, your private Jenkins or Jenkins like Bamboo, GitLab, Travis. So all of this, you can link it here. Then you have one more thing called as pipelines. Uh, so the, the phase right of CI CD is nothing but also a pipeline. So in pipeline can also be said as CI CD. If you combine them both, it is a pipeline. Okay. The main purpose of using Azure DevOps by 90% of organization is Azure pipelines, because this is where you will spend most of your time. It allows you so much of flexibility and so much of uh, drastic features, right? It has a lot of diversified uh, options for you to select. Like it gives you, it's like you don't have to depend on anything. If you have Azure pipelines if for anything, like any phase of your SDLC for Git, you can use Git repos or Azure repos. If you don't want to use Azure repos, you can still use any of your private also. It, it, you can integrate it with Azure pipelines.